I had a difficult experience when I first shared my FGM story. I was not believed by medical professionals who repeatedly told me that my experience of FGM was false and that nothing had happened to me. I felt judged and seen as an incomplete woman. They gave me the impression that this experience is not something that happens to women who are in the UK. As an asylum-seeking woman, I also faced discrimination and challenges because of my immigration status. This experience with medical professionals left me feeling like I was not believed, and it severely affected my mental health. I felt depressed, and I believed I could not get the support that I needed. I spoke to private healthcare professionals in Portsmouth who helped diagnose the type of FGM I had. Unfortunately, I had to pay for these appointments, which was difficult as an asylum-seeking woman. However, I was glad that I was able to be diagnosed. When I contacted a mental health service in the local area and spoke to a counsellor, I was able to speak about my experience in a safe space and felt like I was listened to and believed. I am also receiving support from a local charity that specialises in supporting victims of FGM. Even though I was hesitant after my early experiences, the way professionals in Portsmouth have treated me has helped me feel that I can speak up about what happened to me and get the support that I need.